Here at Greenbelt, we felt, particularly after 9-11, that we needed to play our part in cutting through all the rhetoric around war on terror that just branded all of the Islamic world with one brush. We think that the arts are a great truth-telling medium, and so being able to showcase Islamic art and culture is just opening people's minds to a whole world that they might not have known about. Amal actually means hope, and the theme for Greenbelt this year is the common good, and we thought that went well together. And so we wanted to showcase the whole scope of Muslim arts and culture right here in the UK. We're in a society now where Islam is seen as this very dogmatic and oppressive and domineering religion, and I feel like the arts is such a beautiful way of sharing the understanding of Islam. It's a huge message to create friendships, and through friendships you'll create families. So hopefully, inshallah, this will echo out and you'll just hear waves of people coming together through art, through music, through food. So Greenbelt is a very special uh, festival for us as Palestinians because there is a lot of people who come here to support Palestine and they are uh, like willing to know more about uh, what's happening in Palestine. There was this like, awesome band playing that I really love, uh, but it was at the same time as one of my talks and my talk was like full and I kept t telling people, you know, you, shouldn't, you should be here, you should be listening to music, you shouldn't be talking about these things, but people really want to engage, people really want to like learn and it's a core part of what, what this festival is. I would say the people who come to Greenbelt, they are really willing to help the other people who have no justice.